What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one. Today we're getting into an unboxing. This little box, dude, is way smaller than the ones I'm usually used to unboxing. I uh, usually got a huge box over here, but as by the title, you probably know exactly what this thing is. Uh, it's this sweet little wheel. I really think that this one is going to be um, a top seller because of the price point only being at $1,000. Uh, I really do. I think it's a cool wheel. I think a lot of people that already have a lot of unicycles are going to add it to their fleet. But let's check it out. It's already open because I'm an idiot and tried to live stream the unboxing. And for some reason, there's no sound. And the, <laughs> there's no sound during the live stream. And I think it's like one of the settings, one of the uh, privacy settings with the Google or whatnot. And it made it where I couldn't, there was no sound. So this is why the box is already open. All right, let's open this thing up. This is a little wheel right here, dude. It's so sick, check it out. And I, um, like whenever you first get this thing, it's gonna come um, locked basically. So what you need to do is press the, Press down the power button to hold it for a second, and then press it five times fast, and then we'll unlock it. I already unlocked this one, because I failed at trying to do the live stream of the unboxing. But this is the little ripper, dudes. This is the little wheel right here. Check it out. This is it. Here, let's go over here before I tear up the camera and everything else. I'll show you all this thing a little bit better. I'll show you up close in just a second. This is how nipple it is. You can literally like, you can ride it backwards, you can whip it around, dude. And like, I think, I really do actually think this is a good wheel to learn on. Um, like I, I really, like after riding it for a second, I think there's enough power there uh, for this thing to really, I mean, there's, there's power on this little wheel. Check it out, man. Oh yeah, dude, this thing's fun. And it has, it has a good bit of, of battery power to it, guys. I um, I mean, I don't really think if you're not doing long haul rides on this thing, you could play around on it like all day uh, and have a lot of fun with it. I think you could definitely do a lot of tricks on this thing. Like, I want to try some tricks where you could, on my King Song, I can jump up and switch. I, I don't want to do it on this new wheel because I don't want to tear something up. But you could do all kind of little tricks on this thing, for sure. Riding backwards is uh, pretty easy on this little thing. My shoes are slipping on the pedal. That's one thing I wish there was a little bit grippier pedals. So overall, it feels good. And it's really extremely responsive. <laughs> I mean, really, really, really nimble. Fun wheel. And it looks so good. I'll show you up close real quick. So check it out. This is up close of it. It's qual really quality, honestly, guys. That's one thing I like about this. I like the tire on it. Uh, the pedals feel really high quality. Uh, the shell. Under this part feels high quality. I think the production models are actually going to be black. Um, th this is like I thought this was plastic from a lot of the other videos. This is like a high density foam right here. You can actually push on that and see. It's like a high density foam. Um, the graph handle on the top's pretty nice. Quite lightweight for wheel. I mean. You definitely don't want to like walk around with this all day long if you don't have to, but it's uh, not not too bad to carry. It's 750 watt hours, which is a lot for a little wheel like this. I thought it was actually 600 watt hours. Well, 750 watt hours is a lot for a little little wheel like this. That's crazy, actually. bro I literally got out of the car one day I tried to I tried to ride uh, the unicycle to take all my snowboard gear inside one day and I got out of the car and literally my pedal went down and I had all my snowboard gear and I couldn't see 
and I just stepped like I was going onto the pedal, and I just right there after a long day of snowboarding, guys, I literally stepped down. There was no pedal unfolded, and I just face planted right in the parking lot with all my gear, dude. After a long day of snowboarding, it was like freezing cold outside. It was hilarious, though. My buddy has been our first first started riding unicycles, and it was the funniest shit. Dude. It was literally like it was hilarious when it happened. I think I think this is probably one of the easiest wheels to learn on for sure. Because like the easier it is for me to ride backwards on a wheel, usually it's easier to learn on that wheel in general for some reason. Yeah, it's fun. I'm having a good time on it. <laughs> it's a good, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I like this wheel. I love the look of it. I think a lot more wheels should look like this. This is such a cool looking wheel. It's awesome. All right, let's take a look at this little thing. All right, so, this is what you get. At the $1,000 price point, I think this is a cool little b goad wheel. I think the fact that, um, I, I really like the fact that you get something with metal construction. Here, I'm trying to show you how Harbor Freight work bench will open up. But check this out, so look. Oh, that's not gonna work either. I'll show you that fan with the card. Here we go. So look at this. So the whole front right here of this thing is it's um, all metal construction on the front right there, which is awesome. I like the big headlight on it. Check it out. Um, I like the, the backlighting in this headlight. You can see that the whole headlight is like backlit in there. I don't know what that is about, but it's, it, that's without turning the headlight on. And when you turn the headlight on, that's what it looks like. So, bright little headlight for sure on this thing. And I also am definitely liking the um, the tail light on this. This is pretty funky. And on there's like mounting screws on the back back here. It looks like there's like you could put a um, aftermarket fender on here very easily if you needed to do that. I don't know what this exactly is. It looks like they were going to release something. Um, for the back, but that's how that's the kickstand on it. That's really cool. Check that out. So it's, on the back, you just have these two little nubs right there, and then you lean it back. Boom! That's your kickstand. I really like that. That I mean, that works great, especially on a little wheel like. Man, this is this is almost like a hat to get around a, a city. If I if I would have had this whenever I went to um, college down in Denver. I mean, this would have been amazing, guys. This this simply would have been incredible to have to, to go down to class. And, and once I got down there, like taking a big wheel is fine. And there's usually a, enough places to, to put a wheel away whenever you're in, in a building or something like that. But this right here is like the ultimate just little out of the way thing that you, you can have. 
I mean, this thing really takes up no space at all. If, if you rode this to the office or whatever, I mean, you could sit this by your desk in any anywhere and there wouldn't be a problem, really. I mean, this is the ultimate way. And you could probably get, I'd say 750 watt hours on this thing. I'd say you could get like 20 miles on it if you, if you rode it conservatively. Uh, you could probably get like 25 miles if you really rode it, like rode it conservatively. But 750 watt hours, like if you're riding it hard and riding it fast, guys, this, this is, I mean, this will literally get you 15 miles of, of riding it at, at the top speed. And uh, I don't know exactly, I haven't tested the top speed. I'll have to do that in future videos. I'll uh, tell y'all what the full top speed of this thing is. But it definitely is faster than a one wheel, one wheel XR, a one wheel GT. This little thing is fast for such a small package. And at $1,000, man, I don't know why you would you would buy, and you could literally get, you could almost get three of these for the price of a one wheel GT, straight up. And it's faster and goes farther. I mean, it literally is faster and has more range. You could almost get three of them for the price of a one wheel GT, which is pretty wild. Um, and I think we're gonna see a lot more of this thing. Uh, I think we're gonna see a lot more uh, races and like pit bike races and stuff for this little wheel. Um, We'll definitely keep seeing our normal, you know, big class wheels racing at the events. But I think that setting up a little obstacle course or setting up a track or something like even doing like an off-road race where it was just these little M10s racing each other, that would be really, really fun. I think that'd be a blast. Uh, and I think we need to see that. I don't think like a street race would be fun, but I think an off-road race with these little things with different jumps and berms and little like... Uh, obstacle courses and everything, that would be a great time. I mean, it really would. This is, I mean, this is really futuristic looking right here. This thing is really cool. Let's check out that tire on there. That's awesome. Sweet man, I like it. I like it a lot. I want to take it on some trails. That's what I'm going to go do. So next videos are going to be taking this on some trails. I'm probably even going to take it down and do, maybe do some city riding on it. I can tend to let y'all see what's up with some city riding on it. Uh, but we'll see, man. Cool looking wheel. For pe the pedals look disproportionately like massive on this thing, but it's cool. Let's try this out. I can see a little bit better. Right? Cool, man. That's a small wheel. That is cool. Right on. Hello.
Alright, so this little thing's red. I'm liking it. What you cooking? What you cooking? I got muffins. Coming to steal your girl, what's up? General consensus, it's a fun wheel. It's um, it's definitely a fun wheel. It's a it's a toy. It's a play around, or either for people that are just learning and want something that's, or either something for kids. But dude, it's it's fun. I've sacrificed the bamboo floors for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. All right. Sweet little wheel. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. It made me smile. That's what matters. I like it. Anyways, dudes, if y'all want to pick up one of those, that's the Bigode M104. Fun little rip around wheel. You can get one for like a thousand bucks, dude. So that's the that's the main thing about it. It's only like a thousand bucks for it, which in the world of electric unicycles is not bad. And if you want to get something to get you into it or something to play around and have fun on to change it up a little bit, I think it's a great wheel. Whew. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up. It's been Chooch. This is the M104. Links below to pick one up. If you want to pick one up, it helps out the channel and helps me bring you all more cool content. This thing is 750 watt hours, guys. So, you know, it'll go it'll go a long way on the charge. But, um, anyways, dudes, this is it. Sweet little wheel. Pick one up. Links below. Definitely hit those links if you want to get one, guys. It doesn't help me out if you just buy the wheel. You gotta you gotta click the links below if you want to pick one up to help me out. But. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you dudes in the next one. Peace.